On January 1953, a storm surge catastrophe struck the Netherlands, Belgium, England, and Scotland. This storm is considered to be the most deadly in the history of the Netherlands. So how did this happen? Well, a few weeks before the storm, there was a period of calm weather over the North Sea, which caused the water levels to drop below average. Then, a low-pressure system moved in from the southwest, bringing with it strong winds that began to push the water from the North Sea towards the coast of the Netherlands. As the storm intensified, so did the surge. And by the morning of January, the North Sea had risen by almost two meters. But that's not all. At the same time, high tides were occurring along the Dutch coast. This combination of a rising storm surge and high tide caused the water levels to rise even further. In some places, the water rose as much as four meters above the seawall. The impact was devastating. Over 2,600 people lost their lives, and entire villages were wiped off the map. Homes were destroyed, farmland was flooded, and coastal defenses were breached. The Dutch province of Zeeland was hit particularly hard. The storm surge broke through the dikes and inundated large areas of the province. The water didn't recede for days, causing massive damage to crops and livestock. In response to the disaster, the Dutch government took action. They implemented a series of emergency measures to protect the coastline, including the construction of new seawalls and the strengthening of existing ones. These measures were successful in preventing another major flood, but they also had a significant impact on the economy. The rebuilding efforts were extensive and costly, but they also created jobs and stimulated the economy. In the years since the flood, the Dutch have continued to invest in their coastal defenses. They've built new dams, improved forecasting and monitoring systems, and developed innovative solutions to protect against future storms. So what can we learn from this event? Well, it's clear that investing in coastal defenses is essential to protect against the impacts of climate change. Sea levels are rising and storms are becoming more intense, which means that coastal communities are at greater risk than ever before. But it's not just about building bigger and better seawalls. We also need to improve our forecasting and monitoring systems so that we can predict and prepare for extreme weather events more accurately. We also need to develop innovative solutions to protect against the impacts of flooding such as nature-based solutions that use natural features like dunes and marshes to absorb and dissipate the energy of incoming storms. By learning from the past, we can build more resilient communities and protect ourselves against the impacts of future storms. Thanks for watching.